going to be my no makeup makeup look and it's mine. It's what I like to call makeup but I don't have any makeup because I'm normally wearing a very heavy eyeliner, very uh, wing eyeliner, uh, lashes and um, like a bold lip or anything like that and this for me is sort of like a no makeup makeup look. Again, I say it's my no makeup makeup look because I've seen here on YouTube other girls minimize it to BB cream and a little bit of powder, uh, mascara and they're out the door. For me, you might probably say that this is sort of a full look. For you, you can do it a full look if it's simple enough for you and you can call it your everyday look. I do this pretty much for like a no makeup makeup look for like my everyday if I'm running errands. Um, I don't want to look tired. I sort of bring a lot of um, brightness to my eyes because I'm not wearing any liner or any falsies. So I don't want my eyes to look um, tired or to look like I just rolled out of bed and I was so sleepy to apply makeup on and it looks horrible. So I use in this product, I use in this makeup look, uh, I do sort of do like the contour type of thing, but I do it, instead of doing it so defined, I sort of do it a little bit upwards, so it kind of looks like a bronzy look or whatever, but I do try to bring definition to my face. Um, again, it's my no makeup makeup look, and um, this is what I like to wear when I'm running um, out the door. Lately, my schedule has uh, definitely changed. Now I'm actually out the door uh, taking my kids to school. 7 o'clock, I'm out the door taking my son to school. And I don't want to be like, um, like I don't want to look like I roll out of bed. <laughs> um, don't get me wrong if you have kids and you take your kids to school in PJs and a bun or whatever. There is days where I wake up like that and I'm like, you know what, heck with it. But if I know that I have to do some other errands after I drop them off, then I want to look presentable. So I go to this look right here and for me it's very simple, it's very easy to do. And um, you can change up the color lipstick if you like or you can do a less if you like. Uh, you can just probably, instead of doing the contour, just do blushing. It is all depending on how you feel on your mood. But hopefully this idea will help you. Hopefully you find it helpful. Hopefully you'll like it. And again, <laughs> I will not stress it enough. It's my no makeup makeup look. So if you want to see how I achieve this look, all you have to do is keep watching. So first off, we're going to do prime. We're going to prime our face. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply um, a little bit more to my forehead. I like to apply the prime, the primer just because it's poreless. Then I'm moving on to my foundation. I'm using a light to medium coverage. And this is the Cover Girl Stay Fabulous, um, no, Ready Set Gorgeous um, line that came out probably like six months ago. And I love this foundation because it gives me that a very light to medium coverage. And it's very light on the skin. You definitely don't feel like you have a lot of makeup on. So here I am just pretty much blending it with my Real Techniques foundation brush all over my face. And it, it's called, I think, sub, uh, Sunless Tan or Beige Tan or Honey Tan. <laughs> Something like that. Just to match my tan. So I'm just applying a little bit more to, and just making sure everything is evened out. I make sure that I press it onto my face first before I blend away. And now we're going to move on to my eyebrows. I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, brush. And I just go with a regular dark brown color and I outline and then I just fill them in. I'm not going to give you the full thing on it because it's just useless. Everybody does their eyebrows completely different. So once my eyebrows are completely done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a dab of concealer onto my eyelids just to kill any um, different color uh, on the eyelid and of course bring a little highlight to the eye. Sorry for my faces. I get weird. So it's just a concealer brush. I'm going to um, apply it to my eyelids all the way down to all the way up to my brow bone. Brow bone. <laughs> and, and then I'm just going to blend away with that foundation brush. Making sure everything is completely even. And with the Lorac Pro, I'm going in with that fourth color right there. The name of the color is called Sepia. You can use any off-brown color, sort of a natural um, 
dirt looking color I won't call it brown because it's, as you can see it's just really light it's just to bring a little definition to your eyes so it actually looks a little awakened and open I'm just blending away making sure that there's no harsh lines I'm making this as natural as possible and then with a regular um, shadow brush, shadow brush, I'm going in with the color cream and I'm applying a little bit to the lids and then a little bit to the brow bone and then what I'm going to do is with that same brush I'm going to blend everything away just make sure everything blends perfectly. So I'm going to curl my eyelashes since I'm not going to wear um, uh, false lashes. I want to make sure that I am actually bringing a lot of attention to my lashes. And yes, I wear four different mascaras on my eyelashes when I'm not wearing falsies. First is the Rimmel. Um, I think it's the Rimmel Runway Lashes, something like that. Just use any four or one, whichever, how many ever mascaras you want to use. I just use different uh, because they have different uh, purpose, each of the ones I use. I use one to pretty much separate them, um, one to make them long, and then the other ones to give it volume. So this is what I'm going to be doing right now. I'm going to be applying all four of mascaras onto my lashes. So here I'm moving on to my concealer and I'm going to apply it normally how I would. Uh, just a little bit of a T of a triangle there. The reason why is because I want to bring um, sort of a highlight brightness effect to my face. I don't want it to look like I am sleepy because I am. So I'm just blending away with a small dual fiber brush and this is from e.l.f. Actually it's a stippling brush from e.l.f. It was like three bucks at Target Girls. Really cheap. So I'm just blending away, making sure that it blends perfectly to my skin and it looks natural. Just a little bit on the forehead. So there you have it, just making sure that everything is complete and perfect. And then I'm just going to set it with my Stay Matte Powder by Rimmel. Just a little bit all over the face just to set the powder. I'm sorry, the makeup. Now I'm going to use my e.l.f. Contour Palette and I'm grabbing the e.l.f. Um, blush brush. And I'm just bringing just a little bit of definition to the face. I'm not going to go all full out on contouring and sculpting my face. I'm applying it to the shallow parts, the hollow parts of my face and bring it upwards pretty much where you would apply bronzer. Just to bring a little color and definition to the face. And of course my foreheads and temples of my face. And then of course blend away with a dual fiber brush. And for the blush, I'm using Milani Teal Rose and the Real Techniques Blush Brush because it just applied the exact amount of blush where I want it, not making it too overpowerful. And of course, just blend, blend away. And now the last part, please do not forget your lower la um, lashes. It is very, very important. And here I'm using the Rimmel because the bristle is so thin, it helps me um, get them all coated. So the last thing I'm doing is using the Bite Beauty, uh, I think it's pencil lipstick pencil and the color amaretto which is sort of a natural brownish color you can use any natural color that you like but this is my favorite for this look and then just set everything with powder making sure that there's nothing out of its place and it helpful I hopefully you it helps you out if you're a mom like me and you got to be out of the on the out of the door in 15 minutes I will tell you something it definitely takes me 10 minutes or less to do this make hope you found it helpful if you have any tips or tricks on how do you do your no makeup makeup look go ahead and leave it down in the comments below if you like the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed I don't know what you're waiting for thank you so much for sticking till the end be blessed precious pearls I'll see you on my next video bye